Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you how to use the illustration sketch painting Photoshop action. Before we get started, let's view a few examples. This action will turn your standard photos into hand painted illustrations containing nice gouache watercolor style painting and bold and clear pencil and pen sketches. So you just need to open your main image and mark the subject area like the guy with the skateboard is the main subject area here and run the action and once the action finishes processing you will get something like this. Let's view a few more examples. So that was a full figure and now this one is a portrait. So just mark the subject area like this and run the action and you get something like this. This action works nice with models and figures, portraits, inanimate objects like this one and even architectures and buildings. Here is the subject area and this is the final result. There are lots of customization options like these different hatchings. There are even hand-drawn doodles provided in this pack. These splatters and droplets, everything can be customized to each and individual layers can be tweaked to your own liking. This is an architectural kind of photo and you just need to fill the entire image because that is the whole subject and once you run it you'll get something like this. There is another example. This is the main subject area and this is the final result. We'll quickly browse through different examples that I ran this action on. Here you can see hand-run doodles that are being used in the shadow region of the image and also in the background. Okay, now before starting in the details of how to run this action, just make sure you have the oil paint filter. Oil paint filter should be present here under the filter, stylize and oil paint. If you're having the newer versions of Photoshop from 2015.1 and above, and if you're having Photoshop CS6 or the CC version, the only CC, not uh, any other year appended to the CC, I think it's CC 2013. There you'll have it inside filter and oil paint, something over here. And uh, the oil paint filter is missing in Photoshop version CC 2014 and 2015. So what happened is Adobe discontinued the oil paint filter after CC 2013 and due to popular uh, community demand they introduced it again back in CC 2015.1 so if you're having any these two Photoshop versions then unfortunately this action will not run and you have to either upgrade or downgrade anyway so uh, mostly you must be having anything uh, uh, within this range so you should be fine uh, to go with this action okay now let's load up our image and Try running the effect on top of it. I'll select this image 
and now let's load up our files to do that go to file open and navigate to your main files which comes in the download package inside it you will have this install files inside go inside that and you will see three files one is the action file the brush file and other is the pattern file select all of them and click open now you need to bring up your actions panel and see that the action has loaded properly to do that go to window actions and the action panel will pop up here you will see that the illustration sketch painting photoshop action has loaded and it has two variants one is for the photoshop version cs6 and cc 2013 and the other one is for cc 2015.1 and above and just to make sure the brushes have loaded correctly select your brush tool and click this drop down menu and you will see that the illustration sketch painting brushes have loaded over there and also check your patterns have loaded correctly go to edit preset preset manager select pattern from this drop down menu and over here you will see that the illustrations patterns should be present now uh, this is very important select your brush tool and make sure opacity and flow are set to 100 percent both of these uh, parameters must be set to 100 percent and also mode should be normal for the action to work properly now for image size this action works fine with images between 2000 to 5000 pixels so the range that we have over here is fine and in the next step we have to create the subject selection area to do that uh, create a new layer above your background clear and you can use any technique that you feel right it can be the quick selection magic wand pen tool anything that helps you get a quick nice and precise selection of your main subject so i'll use the quick selection one i'll select the background clear i'll zoom in a bit select the quick selection tool from here and quickly try to mark the main subject You can take as much time as you want and make sure your selection is precise otherwise you will not have the desired result okay now i'll fill this selection with any color i'll now select the new layer i'll take any color and i'll take a hard round brush you can take the first brush in the pack it's a hard round brush anything will do and I'll just uh, fill in the area I'm missing out some areas here and I'll take care of them uh, just in a moment okay that looks fine now let's deselect the selection okay now we are good to go and we can run the action Make sure your brush opacity and floor is at 100% and just open the action, select the action according to your Photoshop version. I'll be running this one because I am using Photoshop CC 2018 and hit play. It will take some time for the action to finish processing. I'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. okay so the action has finished processing and here is our final effect and here are the layers and groups that are generated by the process before we dive deep into what is generated over here i'll quickly run this effect on another image to show how it looks this time it will be a portrait let's again create a layer and i'll select the main image i'll take the quick selection tool and try to quickly mask out our main subject over here Okay, with the selection done properly, I'm selecting this new layer, taking my brush, any color, and filling the subject area. I'll just create a rough pattern around this edge so that it looks uh, kind of abstract. I'll deselect the selection 
Make sure your brush opacity and flow are set to 100% as before. Select the action and hit play. I'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. Okay, here's the final result. I'll zoom in so that you can clearly see the details. The elements generated here are same as the previous one, so we'll go over them with this image. First let's go over the background elements. Here we have different kind of background textures, patterns and hatching. This is the background base color. You can try changing it to anything that you want. I'll give it white. And here are three different kinds of background uh, texture, the area, this painted area that you can see. So you can just toggle them on and off and try different combinations. Or you can also paint your custom background. You can select the layer mask for this layer where it says custom background paint with white on layer mask. Take a brush from the brush pack. I'll take this sixth brush. Make sure your color is white and start painting. You can see it's starting to reveal the original color of this background. With this you can create your own custom pattern. I'll hide it for now and show the third background. Here we have background hatching pattern. You can toggle it on and off. And we also have a background doodle pattern. These are hand-drawn doodle patterns. You can turn them on and off. Next we have background droplets. These are some random droplets which are created around this background paint region. You can turn them on and off or paint on the layer mask with black and white to reveal parts of this uh, paint. Next we have a background adjustments. First we have a background hue shift. Double click and you can change the hue to change the color of the background quickly. I like it this way so I'll keep it at 180. Next we have a background color shift. You can double click and change the color and it will change the background color. Next we have background vibrance. You can change and adjust the vibrance of the background. And we have background brightness and contrast. Then we have the outline image strokes. So these are the white strokes, painterly brush strokes around the main image. So you can turn them on and off and see the difference. So there are three different kinds of strokes. This, these are broad abstract paint strokes. Here we have somewhat medium strokes around the peripheral region of the subject region. And this is the final stroke. So you can turn them on and off and customize. Next we have core image color. So this is the main color. And here we have highlight stroke. So I'll zoom in and with this highlight stroke you can see some uh, whitish highlight pastel kind of strokes will be added on the image if you turn this layer on. Next we have default color adjustments. In this layer we have real color overlay adjust opacity. You can change the color opacity. This is the purpose of this layer is to add uh, the color of the main subject. You can turn this off and you can see a more abstract kind of color that depends on the image that you're running. Next we have default vibrance. You can change it but it's advised to keep it as it is and same goes for default brightness and contrast next we have different hatching elements here we have shadow hatching you can turn them on and off and you can also turn on the shadow doodle so these are hand-drawn doodle sketches that can give you a nice tunic look to your illustration then we have mid-tone hatching and we have highlight hatching. These are the white hatching over the highlight regions. Like mark this region and I'll toggle this hatching and you can see the difference. Other than that, we have some additional hatchings like this additional mid-tone hatching. And here is the additional shadow hatching. I'll 
toggle this shadow hatching off so that you can see this one so this one with addition to the main hatching creates more black areas over your shadow region next we have the liner elements this is the main outline over the peripheral region of your main subject selection you can turn it on and off and here is the main line art so this is the main line art of your illustration you can paint on the layer mask with black to hide parts of this line art or you can again reveal them by painting with white then we have mid-tone block just mark this mid-tone area and I'll toggle this and you can see the difference and same goes for this shadow region so these are just additional lines which adds more depth to your illustration you can turn them on and off based on your personal preferences then we have different droplets we have colored droplet I'll zoom out so that you can see them properly here is the color droplets 1 and color droplet 2 you can paint on the layer mask again with black to hide parts of these droplets or show them back with painting with white and there is a custom colored droplet layer you can select the layer mask and take any droplet brush from the pack like the brush number 7 and 8 and you can select the color white and mark some custom droplets over the image then we have droplet white 1 and droplet white 2 same goes for this one you can hide them by painting on the layer mask with black and also there is the custom white droplet you can paint on the layer mask with white to show your custom droplets here is the paper texture folder here you have two paper textures I'll zoom in and this one houses 10 color effects which you can simply toggle by toggling it on and off and here goes the overall adjustments here is the overall brightness and contrast overall curves Overall levels, overall selective color, you can change the appearance of individual colors. Overall hue saturation. Overall color balance, overall gradient map. You can double click to change the gradient map. Overall gradient fill, you can also double click to change the color of the gradient fill. And overall color fill, double click and change the color. Okay, so that's it pretty much for the illustration sketch painting Photoshop action. I hope you like this one. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay creative.